Four.
I want you to make this one in my glass cage. You know? yeah. got over 4,000 grapes. Really? Some of them ain't new, they're old vintage. Yeah. Yep. Hi. Okay, I can always get a lot of old things because I like to collect them. This will go right next to my other knife. Did I try that? Okay. okay. Yeah, if you're through here next week too, there's there's a whole bunch more boxes that just Ten bucks for the whole set.
Hi, so here today at the Syracuse Regional Market on Flea Market Day, I spent a total of $17. I think I did pretty well. Um, didn't get anything really spectacular, but there is, are a couple of wild cards that I'm not 100% sure they're worth until I do a little bit more of a deep dive research for them. So let me show you what I got. All right, so just looking in the truck real quick, um, I got this piggy bank. It looks Mexican made. I loved the colors and the scene on it. Um, similar sized and um, the same shape. Brightly painted pigs run between 20 and $30 but I didn't see any with a scene on them. They always just had like flowers or something along those lines. Uh, so I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I figured it's worth minimum 20 bucks and there's no chips or cracks on it. Um, I'm gonna try and clean it up, see if this discoloration will come off, but it might just be the seal, the sealant that they use to protect the paint that is discolored in in sunlight. So we'll we'll see if I can't bring that back a little bit. I grabbed this book a bit on a whim, <laughs> mainly because it's a pretty color and the title just kind of grabbed me. After flipping through it a little bit, it turns out it's a um, 1940s pros and cons of women being in control of their own money. <laughs> so I didn't get too deep into it to see exactly what his conclusion was, but it was definitely a, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> I also grabbed uh, at the same vendor with the book, I grabbed this pine needle basket. It has fantastic color to it and it has very minimal damage. There's just a little bit of wear in the very middle and a little bit of sun fading. Um, it, it, it's dirty, but it's, I thought it was really pretty. It's a good size for like a trinket or console or even hanging it up on a wall uh, as part of a display. So I had to grab that, grab this tiki mug. Um, had a good look to it. I'm thinking he's probably monkey pod wood. Um, I saw one that still had the sticker on it from Hawaii, but it's one of those where this might be something from the Philippines that was mass produced uh, to a certain extent and sold to tiki bars in Hawaii <laughs> or other places. So, but I figure by himself, he's worth at least 10 to 20 bucks. I also got this bowl. It reminded me of Imperial Open Roses, but I'll have to do a little bit more research to either confirm that is the pattern and maker or see who really is. There is no chips or cracks. There's some scuffing on some of the petals, like somebody put something hard or metal inside of the bowl um, and then it just kind of rubbed on it a little bit but I grabbed it mainly for the mystery of that and it's either cobalt or amethyst. I couldn't get a good look. It might be cobalt, no, amethyst. Yeah. To see if that's the color of the glass underneath the carnival finish. But it was a pretty piece, the price was right. So I figured I'd take a chance. I also got this little tollware piece I believe it's Lily of the Valley. It looked like to have some age on it, and I know that these by themselves can sell quite well. So I decided to take a chance on it, and if nothing else, I think it's really pretty, and if it's not worth anything, I'll definitely keep it for myself. And I can't say no to kitschy Christmas. It's acrylic, it's plastic tacky greenery, it has plastic carnivals on, car, ah, carnivals, cardinals on it. And I'm pretty sure it's a sun catcher. So again, couldn't leave but behind. All right, so that's gonna do it for the flea market today. If you like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I will see you next time. Bye.